Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and we're going to continue on with my favorite TV shows and today we're going to be talking about the drama shows that I have seen and well not well obviously the ones that I have seen not the ones that you have seen or your favorite but my favorite okay we're going to start it off with the ones I haven't seen before you're like well where's x y and z probably more than likely I have not watched x y or z and or I just don't like them. There are no right or wrong answers because for me these are my perfect uh drama shows shows that i have not seen fargo outer banks outlander yellow jackets you you i saw like the first two episodes two three episodes when it came on lifetime yes you was on lifetime before it came on netflix y'all and i was just like i don't know and i always went to go back to it once it kind of got out all the hype and i was like i don't know maybe i was missing something i just never went back to it peaky blinders I've never watched Criminal Minds on a single episode. Dexter, Mad Men, Succession. I've seen three episodes of season one. I wasn't fully invested in it. I was just like, oh, I don't know like how I feel about this. Honestly, I only watched it because of how much awards it was being nominated for and winning and all the talk about it and I was like okay I must see what this show is about but I honestly didn't want to watch it it's just a show that never caught my attention two shows that I have watched two seasons for but they were not for me one is The Bear just it wasn't for me Yellowstone I do have a review for Yellowstone I have two seasons reviews for it so I'll link them down below if you want to see my take on it once the end of season two happened I wanted to I was like oh it's getting good um, um yes i i see the hype now i never went back to it oh the hand handmaid tell and that one i did like i saw two seasons and i really liked it and i was just too busy with youtube that i never had an opportunity to go back and finish watching it now that i'm not doing anything with youtube i probably should go back to it same thing with yellowstone so just like the comedy video we're just gonna say a couple things about each show we're not gonna get into it i'm gonna assume you guys already know what the sh series are about and i'm not gonna spoil anything in case you've never seen these sh um series and then in 10th place we have it was a great series and then we got to the last ep last season last episode the way that it ended and you're like what the hell i was so confused and mind you at this time in our lives we did not have youtube the way that we have youtube now it wasn't even like a, hey let me go see tell me break it down what's happening you're talking about a series that has six seasons you can currently stream it on netflix and this is none other than lost coming in in ninth place we are talking about chandra rhymes that's my bitch i love her when i tell y'all thursday night don't talk to me because i love all her stuff everything's gonna be let me just tell you spoiler alert all the thursday night chandra night they're all on my list. Chandra knows how to write TV. She knows how to write drama. Absolutely love it. So the first one that we're talking about coming in the ninth piece again. This is a show that had six seasons. Um, you can stream it on Netflix. How to get away with murder. And they shady. And then you got some like hitman type of deal. And he hot. Mm, I kind of almost forgot about him. Yes. Drama. Loves it. Number eight. We are talking about a Netflix original. This is one that I also started watching from day one, but it's Netflix, so it's like I binged it all the time. I got my dad into it. He absolutely loved it. Jason Bateman, which I absolutely adore him, but he is somebody who launders money, and he's kind of dealing with some shady little people there. It's very demure. It's very mindful. I love the writing, the atmosphere, the way that it looks. Oh, I love it. It's so good. Coming into seventh place, this is a show also that I started watching from day one. Currently has two seasons and it has two special, two specials uh, because it was filmed during COVID. This is an Max original HBO, okay? And this is Euphoria. This crazy ass Euphoria with got Zendaya and she a little druggy drug girl, okay? And she cray cray. Well, not like cray cray, she a druggy, okay? Now coming in at sixth place, we're talking about Shonda Rhimes. We're talking about Thursday night. We're talking about Scandal. We got seven seasons. You can check this out on, oh, this was on Hulu. We have presidential drama with a mistress. We have cover ups of death. Drama. Mm, I love this. Before we do get to my top five, 
let me move my hand over here <laughs> don't forget to give this video a like comment share subscribe all that good stuff let me know down below what are your top 10 favorite um drama shows what is what do you have don't swallow And this is the only show that I have rewatched just one time. So basically, I've seen this series twice now, okay? And yes, it is a great show. It is a very well written show. It is a show that I could not get. I cannot get people to watch this. No, I got my manager to watch it and she loved it. But my dad, my brother in law, they're like, they could not get jig with it. But this is Breaking Bad. We have five seasons. It is on Netflix and it does have um, a movie, El Camino, which I do have a review on. Actually, I'm, I did rank the Breaking Bad series. You're going to be surprised which ones I like more because the ones that I like, people don't like, of course. It, I never do it on purpose. It's just I like what I like. So we have a chemistry teacher, I think it is what he is, or physics. I think it's chemistry. And so finding out he has cancer can't afford to pay for his treatments and it's all like I need to find money how do I find money and ends up doing a ride along with his brother-in-law who is a DA agent he ends up seeing his former student jump out the window he's like I will make the meth yes that's what he made right the meth and you shall sell the meth and he would make the purest meth there is now number four is it a little bit higher up from Breaking Bad, which is a great show, probably better show than the one that I am talking about right now. But is this one series who has seven seasons, it's on Hulu, a little bit higher up because we have a hot motorcycle guy with tattoos. Maybe. Have you seen Jack Teller shirtless? Tell me you wouldn't put that man up higher on this list. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, we're talking about Sons of Anarchy. I got my brother-in-law into it. He loves this series. He loves it more than me. Number three. I'm kind of going to cheat a little bit because, like, I couldn't decide. So we're going to put the main show on here and then it's spin-off show because it's technically, like, together, but the new one is the prequel to this one. <laughs> so you let me cheat. We're talking about Game of Thrones slash House of Dragons. Eight seasons of... Game of Thrones, and then House of Dragon has two seasons, right? Yes. Come to think about it, I don't think I saw the last episode of, Game of the House of Dragon. I did not. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. I need to re I need to watch it. They're dragons. I mean, Game of Thrones doesn't have. Oh yeah, it does have dragons, but like there's like incest happening. So if that's not about not about that life. Like not just incest incense the brother and sister are getting it on okay because i feel like i'm saying it wrong i definitely am not just brother and sister y'all okay they're like twins there's like kings there's queens there's beheading if you've ever seen this series do not fall in love with anybody you know what's gonna happen Dead. don't fall for anybody that's the best most loyal advice kind advice i can give you going into the series don't you have to though because that way you can like fall apart into pieces and shredding and everything and hold door <laughs> number two has four seasons and a spin-off next season will be the final season you can watch this on prime and this is the boys this is superheroes these are them right there this is the Superman version. Like he's insane. Like you do, you blink at him and he's gonna laser through you. It's so bloody. Violence. I love all the guts and it's insane and it's not good to shoot and that's what I love about it. It's gonna be like a big old penis guy. And he will wrap his penis around your head. <laughs> I'm trying to choke you with it. And not in a good way. <laughs> We're gonna finish it up with my girl Chandra. We're gonna finish it up with her because again, we had Thursday night. There was three three um, series. So I will say I never got into Station 19. We're talking 21 seasons. Oh, 21 or 20 seasons. One of them. I literally just caught up because I have been so behind. But I literally just caught up like two months ago. You can currently stream this on Netflix. But I did watch it from day one. And we're talking about Grey's Anatomy. I love Grey's Anatomy. 
it is so good and you're like how much more do they have to say i don't care i will take like their lives are still living okay they're growing as people as surgeons and i love to see where they are in this particular point literally to this day this show can still make me cry like every season that i have watched i think i've always i've always cried these are my top 10 favorite drama shows that's all that i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye